What's up everybody? I'm here with another video. Um, this time we are going to be focusing on the Goku dungeon that they have up on both Global and JP, but this is going to be the JP side. So as you can see here, the JP version also uh, is advertising the Dokkan Awakening for this particular Goku, which is an R uh, tech green unit, but on the global side, you Dokkan awaken him into um, Angel Goku or Halo Goku. Here, he becomes a Super Saiyan Goku. Same thing though, uh, but unlike global, Halo Goku is an AGL unit, so he becomes a blue unit. Whereas over here, it's just a Super Saiyan Goku, still a tech unit. Uh, but it's the same deal. He starts off as an SR. You can still upgrade him to an SSR. Decent stats. Uh, it's nice if you don't have any good tech units. So, I've already started on this dungeon. And basically, you have a shot at getting the R Goku on any level in here. Uh, I've already captured two. Uh, there's two rounds. As you can see, um, I've cleared all three in the first one and once you've done that you get a dragon stone. And so for this one I'm going to finish the other two levels of this and get another dragon stone out of it and see if I get any more Gokus. It's relatively super simple. Um, pretty much seems like whenever you fight him he's just an R character so his stats aren't very high uh, he's going to be like I said a tech unit so you can stock up on your purple int units and that should be enough to defeat him pretty easily this map is actually quite a bit bigger than the other one so, oh, this is a gold unit. This is a gold uh, a support down there. I don't think I want to get. Mm, okay, we'll have to skip all these power ups. But that's fine. Maybe just a chance to get, you know, a good support item out of there is. Way too good. Like a ghost item? Oh, that would be so good. Let's go ahead and get some money here. Okay, it's the same no matter what here. If any of y'all have watched my other video, uh, I used those old Kai's on my Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I recently fired off a Super because now he has a level 5 Super. I did over 180k on it. That blew my mind. So 
So I didn't get another Goku, but it gave me a training item. So you still get good items out of it no matter what. Like I think it gives you a bunch of uh, medals so that you can awaken them. Okay, this one I got. Oh, I got a Senzu bean out of it. That's nice. Because I noticed um, on the other levels it gave me 10 random bubbles for no reason. So now we're going to go on Z hard and we'll choose this one. My squad is kind of tailor made for this anyway because I don't have any orange. Oh, I don't have any um, units that get wrecked by them. Well, actually, no, I take that back. I have two blue units, but I have a lot of purple. See, this is showing what you're supposed to do with them. Turn them Super Saiyan. Oh, I'm getting shot no matter what. That's always fun. That's not necessarily a bad thing in this case because that means... Um, uh, which unit is that? The uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku automatically will get... This power up, which is a plus three key when he's under ninety when he's ninety nine percent or less health, which is like one hit basically, and you're there. And I totally missed the gold support item up top. But I might actually get a super out of this. Nope, not total super. Also, oh, this one you gotta fight the Super Saiyan version. Okay, that's different. So we've got our purple set up down below, but I won't be able to get to the purple. That's annoying. Let's see if I can set up... Oh, that's much better. Let me see if I can set up a big red. Oh, he's going to super right off the bat. Okay. This one's noticeably tougher. But I don't think he's going to super again, so I'm not going to bother. Yes, got the super. Okay, let me see how much damage it does. On this. It's not on the weak unit though, so I don't know if it's going to do super damage. Okay, never mind, it still did a lot of damage. And that's only at level 5. I really want to see what happens if I can get it up to level 10. Wow. That was ridiculous. 142,000 damage. <laughs> Thumbs up. Does that mean he's giving me a medal?
Oh, it did. It gave me some Dokkan medals. And a stone. Okay, so... Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to fully Dokkan awaken them. Or fully awaken them, I mean. Because I do not have enough here. I need two more Mr. Popo medals. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get him prepped and ready. You see, his level's really low. As you can see, his stats suck, but, you know, that's because he's an R unit, so he's not supposed to be great. Uh, this one I can upgrade to. This one, this Goku is from the, um, the crossover event between uh, One Piece and Dragon Ball. And there's actually two dungeons for that. I think I showed that in my other video. Um, so I got some extra Gokus from that. The only thing that sucks is you can't Dokkan awaken them beyond SSR. But it's a nice farmable unit. And I'm building up a super meter as we go. I can't use him because I already have a Super Saiyan uh, Goku. But it's a nice option to switch out in case I do need, I guess, another red. Of course, I also have this one that is Dokkan Awakenable. But I need to find out what I'm supposed to Dokkan Awaken him with. Actually, let's take a look. Oh. I need those guys. I don't know where you get those medals. I don't think you can get any of them yet. These I got through the world tournament. So, there's no way I can do that anytime soon. Same with this Gohan. He becomes Super Saiyan Man. I think that's only during the, his event, so I'm waiting for that to come back. I can almost Dokkan Awaken him, but he's going to be so expensive, so I need to wait to get some money this weekend before I can do that. I'm super excited about that. But we can go ahead and do this real quick. Because that's not going to cost me much. So pretty much what's going to happen here is you're going to have to finish awakening Goku here from R to make him an SR. And then max level him. And then you'll be able to do a Dokkan awakening where he becomes the Super Saiyan Goku. So I'm going to need two more Mr. Popo medals to do that. Max level him and then get him prepped and ready. Meantime, I want to see, I believe this one 
this Fidel is the one that can be Dokkan Awakened too. But it's the same deal. I have to max level her, then awaken her, Z awaken her, then max level again, then get to the Dokkan Awakening. As of now, I've only Dokkan Awakened twice. One is for Master Roshi here. And then the other one is for Chi Chi. So I'm kind of excited to see what I can do with the rest of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Goku dungeon and try to run that level one more time and see if I can actually farm those metals. Or if it's just a one-time thing. If it's a one-time thing, that sucks. But if it's farmable, that'd be awesome. So let's see here. Go back. Z hard. And I need a purple. You can tell for Z hard it wasn't as bad as it normally is because I didn't have to use any items whatsoever. The crossover, I definitely had to. They hit really friggin' hard. So this time there's no gold items, so that sucks. It looks like there's more power ups and stuff at the bottom, so I'm gonna go bottom route. Normally I try to go for as many items as possible, but this time I'm just doing power-ups. Unless the opportunity presents itself. I mean, if I can get my Goku all the way up to half bar, that's great. Almost. See, that means I don't have to do much to get a super up. And you saw how much damage that did. That's pretty much a KO. Alright, so this lineup looks fine. I got my purple set up to take the hit. Oh, but that messed it up. Wow, that really messed it up. Oh well. Let's do with that. Go with blue. Yeah, the blue's not going to do much damage here. This is kind of a bad lineup. But he didn't throw a super to start, so that's weird. Alright, so we're going to switch up here. Oh, it has more. I guess there's more orange if I use the orange. Almost a super. Darn it. That would have been nice to get that out of the way. Pity throws a super here. Nope. Probably next round. So just in case, we're going to throw my purple up there. You can take the green. Get out of her Facebook. I'll get one super out of this. I 
I think as long as I have a purple, I'm still good next round, even if he throws a super. Okay, so I should still be fine here. Let's see if this is enough to give him a super. Nice. So if he doesn't die here, which it looks like he's going to die here anyway. Oh no. Okay, so he's going to eat the super and just die horribly. Alright, how much damage am I getting out of this? What's the over under? 110, that's it? Wow. Okay. I like dropped. 30k. Okay, I saw purple gold medals, so that might be a good thing. They are farmable. Nice. Okay, so I can keep farming this then and get more of those metals. So I don't know how many I need of those. Actually, let me see if anybody else needs those. So I should have about five or six of them now. As you can see. He could be Dokkan Awakened. He can be Dokkan Awakened. He can just be Awakened. I have so many bubbles, it's like ridiculous. Why do I have so many bubbles? Wow, those are crazy. Pretty sure these are only going to be useful for Goku, because I think everybody else needs way different stuff for their Dokkan Awakening. Yeah. Yeah, I think these are pretty much just for Goku, so still, it'd be nice to just go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, I haven't looked up to see how many of those you actually need for the Dokkan Awakening, but um, that's pretty much it. So there you go. For people that need a good tech unit, that's one route you can go. Um, you get a nice SSR unit at the end of it. So let's see what kind of dailies I got out of here. Wow, so here's my dailies. Old Kai, New Kai, and five Dragon Stones. <laughs> I love JP. I love the JP server. Why can't the global do this? That's basically a free summon, and hey, if you happen to pull an SSR, we gave you the medals that you need. Like, I, I'm like no joke, I have like a, about five or six New Kais. And I think about another four old guys. Let's see if it shows it here. Yeah, look at this. This is stupid. Six new guys, four old guys. And as hard as they were to get in global that's like it's ridiculous how easy it is to get here but I need to work on these other Dokkan awakening metals I need to look up and see where you get them I think they're just mainly events which kinda sucks but oh well just means I have to wait so anyway that's the dungeon um, like I said if you really need a good tech unit and a good green unit you could do worse, 
and this one is like a guaranteed farmable unit and you can have yourself a powered up Super Saiyan Goku uh, one tip though if you want to power up his super the farmable unit is only the regular Goku which means you will need to hold off on Dokkan Awakening uh, you just farm as many of the regular Gokus as possible and then fuse them up to level 10 once you Dokkan Awaken them you will no longer be able to to fuse with the uh, R version Goku to get the super level it's kind of weird but that's how it is it's basically treated as a whole new character so that's all I've got thanks for watching and we'll see what comes up next